In this Audacity tutorial I will show you how to create a robot voice and other cool sound effects. So you heard the lady. In this video I will show you how you can recreate a robot voice just like this one, step by step. Then I will show you cool sound effects, like for example how you can create a monster voice. And as a bonus I will show you at the end of the video how you can record sounds directly to your computer so you can manage them in Audacity and create other cool sound effects. Sounds good to you? Let's go. First thing, I'm going to record a new sound. Let's do this. Click the record button. This is an Audacity tutorial where I make a robot voice. So let's hear how this sounds already. This is an Audacity tutorial where I make a robot voice. So far, this doesn't sound like a robot voice. So let's change this. I record this, but I have some noise here from environment effects, sounds from my microphone, and I don't want these because they're also right in my track. So I'm going to select the part that is a noise. So I didn't hit stop immediately, so I can have this part of noise. Then I'm going to go to effect, and then I look for noise reduction. Then I get noise profile, click it. Now again, I select everything, Ctrl A or select the entire part here. Effect, then noise reduction, click OK. So now you see that this part, that the noise is slightly removed. Now I'm going to change the bass and the treble of this track. So select everything, go to effect, bass and treble. And I will give this a value of 12 for bass and 8 for the treble. Click apply. Next. We are going to need to change the pitch. Go to effect, change pitch. And I set it to minus 5. Click OK. And for a real robot voice, I'm going to need some echo as well. Go to effect, find echo, click on it. Now these are some values that you can type in. I would set this value to 0 0.03 and this one to 0 0.07 or 0.5 or 6. You can change these values how you want. Like I would say test a little bit with them. Click on the sound that you look like and try it. For this video I will change these to these values. Hit OK. And right now you can see it is very loud. So I have to normalize the sound a bit. So I click on Effects Normalize. Then click OK. And now my sound has better volume quality. You can also amplify the volume if you want a little bit lower. But let's hear how this sounds already. This is an Audacity tutorial where I make a robot voice. So this already sounds more like a robot voice. And now you can tweak the values even more. Slightly add to it. So don't go too far in the first step. So now I can add more echo. For example, I can do it again. And then you find the sound that you really like. This is an Audacity tutorial where I make a robot voice. So you can see right now I really have my robot voice. So don't go nuts the first time. Apply little values and then go as you need. So again, you can just add more bass treble. You can further up the pitch down. But careful, you don't do it too much. Ctrl Z if you need to. And then this should be my final result. This is an Audacity tutorial where I make a robot voice. Okay, sounds pretty cool. So let's do another one, but this time more like a monster voice. So I'm going to record once again. This will be my monster voice. Very frightening, I know. So again, we're going to select the noise that we want to reduce. Effect, noise reduction. Get noise, pro noise profile. Select everything again, noise reduction, and then click on OK. Now the noise should be more or less gone. These little parts, I can select them and hit delete. Then we are going to add bass and treble, but this time I'm going to change the values to 20 and 50. Apply. Going to change the pitch, effect change pitch, but now for the monster voice I go really deep on this one, minus 20. 
I'm going to add reverb. I leave this at 70%. You can get 60% for less, 80% if you want more, but that's a lot. Like, it fills up the room, that sound effect you get. And I will normalize it once again. Effect, normalize. And this is the sound effect that I'm getting. This will be my monster voice. So it sounds like an evil emperor or a monster, and you can just play around with these settings as well. So, how do you record something from the computer? For example, I have Google Translate open here, and I want to translate this voice onto my computer. So I'm going to change some settings here. I'm going to select this one, Wasabi. Then I won't use my microphone, but the speakers from my computer. I will have two channels, so I have stereo, and I leave this one as is. Then I hit the record button, and then I will play this sound so I have it recorded. This is how you record real robot voices. And now you can see. This is how you record real robot voices. And now you can easily export the file as an mp3 or another format and you have it on your computer. And this one doesn't need noise reduction because it is directly recorded from your computer. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. This is how I make voices and robot voices for my video games or YouTube tutorials. So I hope you liked it and mess around with the settings and I hope this will work for you. If you want to try it for yourself, go to audacityteam.org and download it for Windows, Mac or Linux. Good luck! Please like the video if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell symbol, that way you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. And remember to have a great day, see you next time.